Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at another concept builder from physicsclassroom.com. This is in the topic of work and energy and the title is What's Up and Down with Kinetic Energy and Potential Energy. So we already learned that kinetic energy is the energy of motion and potential energy is energy that's stored. Um, this particular uh, concept builder is going to focus on gravitational potential energy. Uh, and so that kind of potential energy is determined by the position of an object in a gravitational field. So today we're going to look at the two equations for them. And therefore, all we're going to have to be able to do in this concept builder is tell whether the kinetic energy is increasing, decreasing, remaining the same, and whether the potential energy is increasing, decreasing, or remaining the same. So we're not going to do any calculations, but we'll use the equations as our guide. So you can see down here we have the kinetic energy is one half times the mass times the velocity squared. This means in order to figure out how much energy something has, that's going to depend on the mass of the object. And since this is in the numerator, the bigger the mass, the bigger the kinetic energy. And the velocity of the object, also in the numerator, also uh, it will also be true that when the velocity gets bigger, the kinetic energy gets bigger. So that's what we're going to be looking for in the concept builder. We actually won't have any situations where the mass is getting bigger because we'll have an object like a ball that's doing something and the ball is not going to change its mass in the middle of this scenario. So we're really looking at is the speed changing. If the velocity is changing, then that means that the kinetic energy is changing in the same way. So if it's getting faster, more kinetic energy. If it's getting slower, less kinetic energy. Then we're going to have to use our equation for gravitational potential energy. We see that uh, gravitational potential energy equals mgh, where m is the mass, g is the acceleration caused by gravity. Remember, that's 9.81 meters per second squared here on Earth, um, although you won't need that number in this concept builder. Um, and then we have the height above a reference level. So we usually pick the reference level to be the ground, and then we measure how high the object is above the ground. In a sense, we're saying how much could it fall. So in this situation, we'd probably consider the reference frame the ocean, and the lady here is this far from the ocean. That would be the height. So if we were to draw that, we could say from here to here, this is the height. And of course, the mass is the mass of the object. In this case, the mass of the lady up here. And g, as long as we're on Earth, this appears to be on Earth. So it would be 9.81 meters per second squared. All right, let's get into a few sample uh, problems here. So first scenario, a baseball is being thrown upward to knock a Frisbee out of a tree. I hate it when my Frisbee gets stuck in the tree. But it's nice if I have a baseball nearby because those almost never get stuck in the tree so I can use it to try and knock the frisbee out. So what's happening is the ball is being thrown upward. Well, if it's being thrown upward, as, as something is moving upwards, if it's an inanimate, can't provide its own thrust kind of object like the baseball, on its way up, it's accelerating down because of gravity, which means that it will be slowing down. So the kinetic, if it's slowing down, the velocity is decreasing, that means the kinetic energy is decreasing, okay? Because remember, kinetic energy equals one-half mv squared. So when we see v decreasing as this baseball heads up, that means kinetic energy is decreasing as well. The potential energy, potential energy, This remember this is uh, gravitational potential energy that it, uh, Every problem I saw was related to gravitational potential energy. Remember, that's equal to mgh. So what could happen? Well, the mass of the baseball is staying the same. It's still on Earth, so g is the same, essentially. Um, and so that means the height must be changing. Since we're getting a bigger height, and height is in the numerator, that means gpe will also be increasing. So for this problem, kinetic energy is decreasing, potential energy is increasing. Next problem, watermelon is dropped off a roof and, roof and falls to the ground. As it falls to the ground, it's getting faster and faster. 
That means the velocity is increasing, so the kinetic energy will increase as well. Then as it falls to the ground, the height is getting lower. It's getting closer and closer to the ground. It's less distance from the ground. That means that if the height is decreasing, the gravitational potential energy will also be decreasing. A helicopter is rising at a constant velocity through the air. Okay, so the mass of the helicopter is constant. The velocity of the helicopter is constant. We see constant velocity. So if both of these are the same number, we're going to have to get the same number here. So that will be constant. PE, potential energy, the height is increasing. It's rising through the air. It's getting higher and higher above the ground, which is presumably our reference frame. And so therefore, uh, the gravitational potential energy will also be increasing. Next, an archer has pulled back an arrow and just released it. The bow is currently pushing the arrow forward. Okay, so uh, here we actually have, I should have marked this, uh, elastic potential energy because the bow is bending. The kinetic energy is in, the speed of the arrow is increasing as it is being shot. So if that increases, the kinetic energy also must be increasing. So that means the kinetic energy is going up. And um, the electrical, the electrical, the uh, elastic potential energy is uh, is getting less and less. When it was pulled all the way back, elastic potential energy is at a maximum. As the bow starts to return to its normal position, it, it, there is getting to be less electric uh, elastic potential energy. If we also wanted to talk about gravitational potential energy, there's no indication that. Uh, this arrow is going up or down at the moment. So if we assume it's being released horizontally, then there is no gravitational potential energy. Finally, uh, or next, uh, bungee jumper is bouncing up and down after jumping, but she is moving upward, but the bungee is still stretched. It's still on its way up towards equilibrium. So if, if, if the person is bouncing upward, um, this, I created a problem that's going to be very tricky for kinetic energy. Uh, and I'll start with the uh, potential energies to show you why. I didn't realize until just now. Well, this is a fun learning opportunity. So the elastic potential energy, when the, when the bungee jumper, when she was at the very bottom, the, the bungee cord was stretched out the most. That would be the maximum elastic potential energy. And as it starts to return up, that elastic potential energy is decreasing because it's turning that into the speed of her moving upward. But as she moves up, her gravitational potential energy increases. Okay, so the gravitational potential energy increases because the height is increasing. She's moving up after hitting that low point where the bungee was fully stretched. Um, and so she begins moving up, but that's increasing. If the height is increasing, that's increasing gravitational potential energy. Finally, we have to figure out what's going on with the kinetic energy. And because we don't know exactly where she is in her upward movement while it's still being stretched, we don't know what's happening to her. Once she gets to the point where it's not stretched anymore, Clearly, her kinetic energy is decreasing because the gravitational potential energy is increasing. But we don't know whether the gravity is pulling down harder on her or the elastic thing is pulling up harder on her at this particular instant. Therefore, we don't know. Fortunately, they took a little bit longer creating this concept builder than I did in making this video. And so you won't see one just like that in the uh, video. You actually won't see in the concept builder, you won't see any that have elastic potential energy. They're all gravitational and kinetic. Our final example here is a car driving down a hill applies the brakes and comes to a stop. Okay, so if they're going downhill, then the uh, height is getting smaller. They're getting closer to sea level, if you want to use that as your frame of reference. Whatever your frame of reference is, it's getting less altitude, less height, and therefore the gravitational potential energy is also decreasing. But because they're applying the brakes, we're going to learn in a little while that that means there's loss of energy 
being dissipated into thermal energy, I should say loss of mechanical energy, being dissipated into thermal energy, which is a whole concept we'll get to later. But we, what we can tell here, regardless of all that, um, we can see that uh, the person is coming to a stop. And so we know that the velocity is decreasing. If the velocity is getting smaller, then the kinetic energy is getting smaller. And actually when they get to a stop and that becomes zero, they will have zero kinetic energy. But on their way there, the kinetic energy is decreasing. And so those are the kinds of problems you'll see really like these four here, okay? Um, because those are ones where you see something going up or down, gaining or losing kinetic potential energy, or if they just move along the ground and the height stays constant, this would stay constant. Um, and we see the speed changing. If the speed is changing, the kinetic energy changes in the same manner. I hope you enjoyed learning here on Scientific Adventures of Beardman. Enjoy the concept builder, and I'll catch you next time.